What are events in Roblox scripting? Events can be thought of as signals which can be listened to, and whenever a signal is fired, that will trigger a function to run. Now, services, instances, and other objects provide us with useful events that we can listen to. For instance, the player service provides us with the player added event, which is fired whenever a player joins our game. The player service also provides us with the player removing event, which is fired whenever a player is leaving our game as well. The player object also provides us with some useful events as well, such as the character added event, which is fired whenever a player's character spawns or respawns into the game. Now, as you've already seen, we are connecting to this event. So to make something happen whenever an event actually occurs, we must use the connect method of the event object to connect it to a function. Now, if this is confusing at all, look at the player added event as an object. And of course, just like all other objects, this object has members. Now, the only accessible members of events are actually methods. So the methods that we have available to us are the connect, wait, once and connect parallel. And the only one that we're going to be talking about today is the connect method. Now, as we can see right here, the connect method actually accepts a function. And this connect method in specific will actually pass an argument to that function, which is a player. So connect is a method. And this method has a parameter of a function and specifically here, a function which accepts a player. Now, where we connect a player added on this line, we can see that I'm actually passing through a function as the argument to this connect method. Now, what we actually have right here is called an anonymous function. And the reason this is called an anonymous anonymous function is because this is a function that does not actually have a name. The reason that we're able to use an anonymous function here is because again, connect is simply a method or a function which accepts another function as an argument. So since connect just wants a function, we don't have to create a function with a name. We can simply pass through an anonymous function, which is the exact same as a normal function. It just does not have a name. So of course, if we wanted to reuse the anonymous function that we passed through to the connect method, we're unable to do that because this function does not have a name. Now, anonymous functions are not the only way of connecting functions to an event. We can also then we can listen to the then we can listen to the event, then we can listen to the event and use the connect method. And then all we have to do is pass through that function's name. And now whenever this event is triggered, this function will go off. Similar to how whenever this event is fired, this function will go off.